A new study by online real estate site Zillow has found a link between U.S. cities with expensive housing and falling birth rates. Areas that saw the biggest increase in home values, like Alameda County near San Francisco, saw the greatest drop in fertility rates. The home values increased 60 percent between 2010 and 2016, and the fertility rate dropped 25 percent over that same period. Other factors could explain the correlation. High-cost cities tend to attract women who are career-oriented, and that can cause some to delay or forego having children. But rising costs, including student debt, health care, and housing, seems to be a deterrent to starting families. 82 percent of young adults uh, surveyed said that they, they, financial stability is important before they start their family, um, and property, high property prices make that all the more difficult. In 2017, the U.S. fertility rate hit an all-time low. There were about 60 births per 1,000 women aged 15 to 44. That's 3 percent lower than in 2016. The deep decline started in 2008 when the financial crisis hit. Typically, you do see fertility rates decline during recessions, but they typically rebound. Uh, this time is different. Bostanchik warns this could be leading to a demographic time bomb. If birth rates are falling while people are living longer, that leaves fewer workers to support retiree entitlements. So when you think of Social Security, you're going to go from three uh, workers to one retiree to two workers to one retiree, so that ratio drops. But Stjancic says fewer U.S. workers will hit U.S. growth and the deficit will increase. She says the retirement age will have to increase, entitlements will have to be cut, and taxes will likely have to be raised. She says the problem will become acute in about 20 years, but there is one silver lining. We need net immigration, and looking at the numbers, we assume that uh, net immigration is about a million or so uh, per year going forward. If that number is less, that's even more of a burden on the economy and the budget. Karina Huber, CGTN, New York.